Okay, Mr. Bruchot, I wanted to show you a couple of things we did with your model. All right. The first thing we did is here it is on a digital globe. This is a mirrored world, so as you see as I zoom out, these will actually tile out. Let me zoom in here. So there's your home on a mirrored world, and I turned off those layers so that way you could see that this is mirroring here. And there's a digital globe. There's the moon. And we'll actually continue to go out and we won't go any further out in the solar system, but you get the idea that we can go far out and we can go all the way back in. Okay? That's example one of your Revit model in a digital globe in X3D. Uh, here's another example I wanted to show you. Um, something that I know that, that, that you like. This is also your uh, model running in a multi-user environment that supports X3D. Let me give this a moment. And there you go. And of course I didn't associate any textures with it and also it's set on a rotation to spin. But this is running in exit reality. Again, that same X3D file that was on the mirrored globe. All right. Now, also, I put it as an embed into a mock-up web page for your site. So as you can see, it's the same model. We can rotate it, things like that. Also, I put a link to where if you click on it, it will actually fire up and take you to uh, the Studio Wikitecture site. So as you can see, they're kind of a little bit the icon is spinning. And again, this is all being done on a gateway machine with a uh, on onboard uh, graphics chip. So this isn't even all that much of a high performance machine. So there's fire up there. So and then also, I want to show you as a standalone. And so far, each one of these things I've opened up in uh, different players. All these players support X3D. So the first one was uh, the open source XJ3D player. Uh, the one that was the embed is the uh, Vividy player. The multi-user environment was Exit Reality. And I'm also firing it up. This is BS Contact. So this um, is also an embed player, or this can be standalone. And here's your model as we spin it around. And then since you are a true metaverse architect, I also, and this is another player here, so the purpose of this is to show you interoperability of content between players. I thought I would, um, this one's going to take a little bit of a moment to fire up here. Now what this one is, is this is for you an augmented reality, so I'm going to hold up this marker here and as you can see it's a little off-centered but your home is right there it's an augmented layer so let me re-fire this up one more time here you get this going for you so this is something that you could put on the back of a business card or something like that to show someone a model of your home and there you go so it's a little bit big but we can move this back and now we didn't add any textures or anything like that I just wanted to show you what we could do with your model so if I can move this over here a little bit and things like that and I didn't want to send you screenshots because you may think that that's actually um, pre-rigged so another thing we did is we also converted it over into a CAM model. So now you can actually have, off of that Revit file that you sent us, you can also have robots build your model um, because it's in a CAM format. So I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, what we did in less than 24 hours. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.